Hello, my name is Victor, the Hamza Herbalist, and I'm here to talk today about iodine. The reason I pick iodine because it's it's uh, very important. 97% of the people in the United States have an iodine deficiency. Ever since people have been concerned about high blood pressure, they're using less salt. And salt was contained in iodine. I'd rather iodine was contained in salt. Um, but not only that, uh, a lot of our foods don't contain salt. We don't consume as much uh, seaweed or uh, people are not really eating a lot of sardines. Um, so our, our ability to be able to, um, to uh, eat, eat foods that have iodine has been greatly reduced. Now, why is iodine important? Well, most of you know iodine for its ability to be able to help the thyroid. People who have hypothyroidism can use iodine in order to be able to uh, maintain their energy, uh, be able to uh, not gain weight because when your, your thyroid begins to slow down, your metabolism slows down and you lose energy. So hypothyroidism is a pandemic in the United States. There's many other things that we should be concerned about with a lack of iodine. The lack of iodine has been um, directly um, connected to fibrocystic breast disease, ovarian uterine cysts, prostate cancer, many for, uh, other forms of cancer as well as breast cancer. And iodine, if you, if you don't have enough iodine in your body, your glands, your hormonal, for women especially, the hormonal balance is not there. Iodine helps the balance of hormones in women. It's very important that you have a sufficient amount of iodine in your body. Now, there's many forms of iodine, so you have to be very careful on what kind of iodine you're going to use. Obviously, you're not going to use the store-bought iodine, which is not good for human consumption. Um, you're going to use a food-grade type of iodine, and the way there's many ways to be able to use it. You can put it on your skin, and your body will slowly absorb it in. You can take it, or you can take a thing called um, niacin iodine, which is one of the favorite, my favorite iodine right now. It's you add three drops of it into your mouth, and then you immediately drink some filtered water behind that. And this niacin iodine has a a sort of magnetic charge that allows it to be immediately taken to your cells and absorbed into the cells. So iodine is really important uh, for your body, for your, your ability to be able to prevent cancers, breast cancer, um, ovarian uterine cysts, fibroids, um, a lot of reasons why you must consume iodine. If you don't want to take a liquid iodine, you can use things like sea kelp, um, bladder rack, um, you can just eat more seaweeds and uh, sardines are excellent for omega-3s and um, not iodine but omega-3s which is another thing that you'll be concerned about but we can talk about that in another video. Just want to point out the importance of iodine. Make sure that you find a good source of iodine and if you wanted to do an iodine check, here's how you do it. You get yourself a little bottle of iodine. Maybe you can get Lugo's 2.2 iodine. And you'll paint a circle on your arm. You, you'll, roll it, you'll paint it right about here, about the size of a silver dollar. And you just fill it in. And you're going to have an iodine stain on your arm. Now, that stain will stay there as long as your body doesn't need that iodine. So it's going to begin to pull that iodine into the, bo in, into the body. So if that uh, iodine stain disappeared within 12 hours, then you have a deficiency in iodine, and most likely a severe deficiency in iodine. I have seen women who have lost that stain in a matter of hours. So this is a real easy way for you to be able to do it at home. Just paint the iodine on your arm, about the size of a silver dollar, and leave it there, and watch how long it takes before the body absorbs it. Remember, under 12 hours, you have a sufficient you, you have a deficiency in iodine that could be severe. If it stays there 24 hours or more, then you're you're most likely okay. But this is a way you could do it at home, and you can avoid having to make a trip and taking time off to go to the doctor. Okay, if you want more information, there's a link down below um, where you'll be able to find uh, 
uh, sources that be able to provide for you this food grade on Thank you very much.